Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gigantic Talk. And kind of continuing in our series of toxic behavior, I wanted to talk about family and the mentality that Motika has kind of fostered in that we are one big, gigantic, pun intended, family. And what this has to do with toxicity and how it can spread quickly. So in a family, in a Any sort of relationship, if you have rumors, if you have gossip, that kind of crap, it spreads like wildfire throughout the family circles, and this one person is either shunned, hated, or really liked because of of X words or or whatever has, has been started about them. We can't do that. So the number one thing in this community is we cannot start rumors about each other. We cannot talk behind each other's back. If you have a problem with somebody, take it up with that person personally. Do not go, hey, did you hear about this person? Whisper, whisper, whisper. Don't do that. That's just – that's so it's so 90s. I mean, come on. We, we are way more mature as gamers right now. So in terms of family, I think that gossip and talking behind each other's back and trying to pin certain people against each other will be a very, very big problem in terms of toxic behavior in a community. So I'd like to encourage everyone to not do that, to go to someone if they have a problem, to directly ask somebody, hey, is this true? And if you hear someone talking about it, just be like, you know what? It's not my place. You should go talk to that person, and and I'm not going to be a part of this. Uh, and then just leave. Leave the TeamSpeak. Leave the, leave the Skype chat. Leave IRC. Leave whatever conversation um, program you are in at the time and just say, nope, not for me. Because the human brain instantly registers some sort of opinion on that person once they hear something that's not true or true. I can guarantee you that if someone said something – I'm going to use Tim as an example because everyone knows Tim. If someone said someone uh, something to someone about Tim saying, oh, you know, Tim, Tim smokes cigarettes, someone is going to form an opinion – that Tim is a horrible person because that person does not like cigarettes and instantly have a negative opinion about Tim. Is that necessary? No. Is is that a necessary piece of information to tell somebody? Not at all. So this seems really kind of off the point and, and just completely out of left field. But my point is, is if we can always talk positive, positively wow, about everybody – then the family itself will grow more positive and always have nice things to say about everybody. And that, that, that is kind of what I'm trying to get at is as we as a gigantic family, as we grow, we're going to have people that are going to be assholes. We're going to have people that are, are not fit for the community. We're going to have those type of people. As a family, we need to kind of gather around them, hug them until their, their green evil mask falls off, and they become nice. That sounds really stupid, but it works a lot of the times because if one negative person comes in and the rest of them don't let any of that negativity actually affect them, one of two things will happen. That person will change for the better or they'll just leave. And as a family, we have the power to make sure that this community moves in the right direction and not the wrong one. As a family... We also have the ability to be there for each other, not just certain people or certain people we like or et cetera, et cetera. We need to be there for everybody no matter what the issue is. Now, that does not mean that if someone comes to you and says, my house burnt down, you offer them a place to stay. Don't do that to strangers on the internet. Just just don't do that. I'm, I'm not condoning that type of behavior. There is – a certain aspect that we as the community have that's very rare in terms of being able to foster a kind of brother-sister type relationship with each other. And that is going to carry us a lot longer in in terms of the positivity and grow us a lot steadier than you might think. Um, Because 
it it kind of fosters the ability to say, you know, this person's having a bad day. Let's all, you know, chip in five bucks and give them get them a Steam game or something and just you know cheer them up. Um, let's all write them a card or let's. I don't know. Do something nice for someone that has been had that, that's you know that's had a bad day because that's what families do for each other. Uh, I remember uh, there was a couple instances where I was just not having a good day, and a couple people from the community was like, "Hey, what's going on? You know, is there anything I can do?" And they just listened and they allowed me to vent and talk, and that's what the community is there for. We're we're there to be there for everybody. So. I want to encourage everyone to kind of put on the uh, the grandma and grandpa hat and be like, "How can I help you, Sonny?" You know, th- that that style of of being there as a family for everybody. Uh, the third way that we can become a cro a closer what the heck is closer closer knit family is we will be able to not just welcome more people into our family easier if we're all kind of in the same mindset but we will be able to show the newer family members and community members that hey this is what we're about if you want to be a part of it you're more than welcome to and you know just just kind of wearing our heart on our sleeve as thor would say and you know he's right though it's very important that we do show emotion and we do show that we care Crying is not a bad thing, everybody. I cry often because I'm an emotional person. But I think that the number one way we are able to foster ourselves as a gigantic family is just be there for everybody. Be there for a shoulder to cry on. Be there for comfort. Be there for some sort of advice that someone needs to hear. Because I think that's important as a community to really... Make sure that everybody always feels welcome, no matter what type of person they are, no matter if they're social or antisocial or just a little weird or a little crazy, because we're all weird and crazy at heart. I mean, we're gamers, everybody. Everyone really has the same attitude. We're, we're both – we're all strange people because we like to play video games, and that's not a bad thing. So as a family – have your arms open, give people lots of hugs, and just make sure to be there for each community member and and be always encouraging and uplifting. And And I, I think that if we do that, we will be able to show the gaming community as a whole that we don't need to be toxic, that we don't need to have this, oh, well, it's a, it's a quote-unquote MOBA, then I guess we better just, you know, be toxic and pff, that's the way it is. No, because that's complete BS. So... As a gaming family, guys, as our gigantic family grows, be awesome, be positive, and stay the course of being uh, that that family-like mindset. And that's all I got for, for this one, guys. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and end card. Bye, 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 and-